Good morning, Hampton Prep, fourth grade scholars. This is Ms. Jackson, and today is April the 1st, 2020. I'm coming today with another math lesson. Before I go on with the lesson, I want to make sure, just go over a little thing, uh, go over a few items that need to be done this week. So you need to go to Study Island and make sure you complete all your assignments in there. Uh, your pop question, I need you to send that to me in a message on Class Dojo. Also, your attendance question, that will be in your portfolio. So you go click on the portfolio and you'll see two questions, one from yesterday, one from today. Answer those, send me a video, take a picture, you can type it out, however you like. Just send me a message uh, for your attendance question. And then, last but not least, make sure you're checking out the network videos to go with the packets. Some of you may have not received your packets. Uh, as of yet, but they are on their way. I would like to start with a fun fact this morning. Hey friend, thank you for taking time out to have fun learning. And today, I've got fun facts about whales for kids. When it comes to one of my favorite mammals in the ocean, I love the blue whale because they are so huge. For example, a blue whale is the largest mammal to ever live on planet Earth, including all dinosaurs in history. Also, just like you and me, whales are mammals. That's right, because with a whale, they grow inside their mother as a baby and nurse once they are born with their mothers until they are big enough to go off on their own. Another interesting thing about the blue whales is how they breathe. Blue whales breathe just like you and me because they have to come up to the surface for air, although they can swim underwater for some time. Whales cannot breathe underwater and have to come up back to the surface eventually for air. Now when talking about how they breathe, whales do not breathe like you and me. For example, with a whale on the top of their head, they have a blowhole to take oxygen in. That is so cool. Have you ever thought how long a blue whale can stay underwater? Well, although they come up to the surface to breathe in air through their blowhole, some whales have the ability to swim and stay underwater for up to 90 minutes at a time. This is normally done by a sperm whale, although most other whales can stay underwater for 30 minutes at a time. Have you ever thought about how fast they can swim? Well, whales can swim pretty fast. It has been said that some whales can swim up to 30 miles per hour in the ocean. Now they are definitely some fast swimmers. But hey, I have a question. Do you like to sing? Well, if you do, then you are like some whales. Because like the humpback whale, the humpback whale loves to sing too. Isn't that cool? Now another interesting thing about the blue whale is the size of a blue whale's heart. The heart of a blue whale is huge, weighing in at over a thousand pounds, and some would say it is the size of a Volkswagen Beetle. Now that is one big heart full of love. Another interesting thing is the word whale. Well, with the word whale, many people talk about the big whales that they see in the ocean, but the name whale is used to describe whales, dolphins, and porpoises. But although they could be considered a whale, most folk use the name whale for the larger whales and exclude dolphins and porpoises to make sure that we can easily identify which one is which. Well, that is all for me, and thanks for stopping by to learn fun facts about whales for children. I hope you enjoyed hanging out, and I'll see you next time on Welcome to Fredsburg. I hope you enjoyed the video about whales. I hope you learned something new. All right, let's get started. We're going to continue with angles of measurements. Oh, I'm sorry, measurements of angles. So let's go with this one right here. What is the measure of angle X, Y, Z to the nearest degree? X, Y, Z to the nearest degree. It almost looks like and look at this corner. I can almost put a uh, one of these, right? Almost. 
We're dead. So, what is the next? So, we know it's going to be close to what? <clears throat> 90, right. So, if you look at this, the protractor, it is not on the 90 line, but it's like 1 over. So, this angle measurement will be 180. No, because 180 is a what? Straight line. 109, that's an obtuse angle because it's greater than 90. 89 will be an acute angle because it's less than 90. So the answer is C. Next question. Which angle has a measurement close to 95 degrees? Okay, so let's first of all, let's locate 90 on the protractor. And 90 is right here. Right here, right here, and right here. So we need to find an angle. I'm sorry, you couldn't see the bottom. We need to find an angle that is close to 95 degrees. Well, what do we know about angles that are in the 90s? So it's almost a right, right? So it's, is it bigger than the right? I mean, bigger than the right angle or smaller than the right angle? So with 95, it will be bigger than the right angle. Not too big, but just a slightly tinch bigger. So, let's find an angle that's just a little bit bigger than the right angle. This, would this, could this possibly be the answer? No. Because 1 is not on the, it has nothing near the 90. So we're going to go ahead and cross that out. Now let's look at the other two. I mean the other three. So this is a possible contender. This is a possible. And then let's look at this one. This is a small angle. It's smaller than 90 degrees, so that makes this an acute angle. Right? So let's get that out of here because that couldn't be the answer either. Okay, so let's look at these two. Well, this is has a this degree of zero right here, and then when we move up, this is 90, and before 90 is 80, so this angle will actually be less than 90. Okay, so let's look at this angle. This is on the zero line right here as well. This is 90, and it is between the line goes between. 80 and 90, which is half of 80 and 90 is 85, right? So we need this. That's, this is 85 degrees, and this one is. This is 80. I can't see. This will be 85 degrees, right? Are we looking at it right? Hmm. Let's analyze it some more. As we notice, these two angles, one is going this way and one is going this way. So, when it's going this way, we're looking at the top number. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85 degrees. Uh -oh. And if this angle is going this way, so let's count. We're using the inside numbers. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95 degrees. You see, they almost look alike. They almost look alike. So you have to make sure that you're using the right set of numbers. So your answer on this one would be C. Okay, let's try another one. Which angle does not appear to have a measurement of 23? Not have a measurement of 23. So that means that the majority of our answers are going to be 23. We're looking for the one that does not have a measurement of 23. So let's go and count. We're starting on this side, so we're going to start with the inside numbers. 
10, 20, and 1, 2, 3. This is 23. So 10, 20, 3. Okay? Let's look at G. 70 to 93. So if I take 93 minus 70, I'm going to get 23. So this angle has 23 degrees as well. So this could not be our answer as well. Let's go to H. We're looking at 95 to 103. I mean 123. So 123 minus 95. Alright, so we have to do a little subtraction. 5 minus 3, can we do that? No, we cannot. So this becomes 13 and this becomes 11. So 13 minus 5 is 8. 9 minus 11 is Two. So this one measures out to be 28 degrees. That is not 23. So this one might be our answer. Let's go ahead and look at J. Mm. Okay, so this is, I can barely see it, 75 minus... 52 5 minus 2 is 3 7 minus 5 is 20 I mean 23 so your answer is 23 so your answer on this one is H because it is not 23 The next one is this, the last one. Okay? So which angle has a measure closest to 30? Closest. So we got to find the measure of each angle and find out which one is the closest to 30 degrees. So let's go. Um, we're going to use 90 minus 30. And that angle is 60. And we can just count. From 90 to 100 is 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Let's move to the next one. Oh, wow. This is, what type of angle is this? Obtuse. That's correct. So let's count the degrees. This is zero. Let's if we use the outside line. Zero to what? One hundred forty. Well, I'm sorry, one hundred and fifty. So this angle measures one hundred and fifty degrees. So for those that can't see it or didn't see it, here you go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. So this angle right here measures 150. Is that close to 30? It cannot be the correct answer. Because 60 is closer to 30. So, so far, it looks like F is our answer. Let's move on to H. Okay, so we're going to count by tens to get our answer. So 90 is, that's, that's going to be our zero. Okay? And each line in between is going to be 10. So 10, 20, 30. Uh oh, this one measures right at 30 degrees. So it looks like this is going to be our answer. So we know that 60 cannot be our answer because guess what? 30 degrees is a lot <laughs> closer to 30 degrees than 60 degrees so we will immediately get rid of that let's go ahead and try J I don't think we can get anything closer to 30 than 30 so but let's see 
Jane, let's count by degrees. We're going to count by 10 from one line to the next line. Are you ready? Let's go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 120 degrees. This angle measures. So now let's go back and name the angles. Because we know that a 30 degree angle is an acute angle. So that's what type of angle would this one be? If you said acute, you are absolutely correct. And what about this one? 150 degrees. That would be a big angle, which is obtuse. Right? And then 30 degrees will be the acute angle. Again. And 120 degrees will be an obtuse. Right. So we know that on this particular problem, our answer is H. Now I have some problems I want you to do on your own. Let's start with our pop question. Which this is the question that I want you to take a picture. I mean, pause the video, complete the answer, send me the answer and a message to Miss Jackson in Class Dojo. So let me read it to you. What is the measure of angle RST to the nearest degree? Okay. Your answer choices are A, 40, B, 50, C, 130, 130 and then D, 80. This is your pop question. Send the answer to me in a message on Class Dojo. Please. This great this question will be graded. And then for extra practice, I also want you to complete this one. Angle Q is shown in this protractor. What is the measure of angle, angle Q to the nearest degree? Your answer choices are A, 70 because 50 plus 20 equals 70. B, 150 degrees because 130 degrees plus 20 degrees equals 150 degrees. C, 30 degrees because 160 degrees minus 130 degrees equals 30 degrees. D, 110 degrees because 160 degrees minus 50 degrees equals 110. Alright, don't forget to go to Study Island and complete all of your assignments that have been assigned to you in the last few days. Don't forget to send me your pop question answer in the Class Dojo uh, message. I'm going to put this back up for you. And then also, don't forget to take your attendance question. And then don't forget to check out the network videos and the packet uh, and the packet work. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please message me through Class Dojo, and I will respond promptly. Other than that, enjoy your April the first. I know it's April Fool's Day, and it's just not a really good time to play a joke on someone, but if you feel like it, send me a video clip of you telling me the best joke, uh, April Fool's joke that you've ever uh, played on somebody or they played on you. You can send me that too. I would love to know. We're going to post that in our portfolio so everybody can see. Alright loves, it's been real. i see you in a few days with another math lesson. Don't forget to study all in assignment, pop question, attendance, and your network videos.